In less than a month, the Army Corps released almost 1.2 billion gallons per day into the St. Lucie River through the St. Lucie Lock and Dam in Tropical Farms. 685 million gallons per day came from Lake Okeechobee, while the rest was draining off the lands of Western Martin County and into the St. Lucie Canal. Many families and people in our community could no longer enjoy leisure activities including fishing, diving, going to the sandbar, and other marine-oriented outings due to high bacteria advisories posted to not come in contact with the highly polluted waters. I'm here with Jackie thurlow Livish of the Rivers Coalition. How are you? I'm great, thank you. That's good. So, what is the Rivers Coalition all about? To sum it up, the Rivers Coalition is all about moving the water south from Lake Okeechobee rather than having it come through the estuaries, St. Lucie and Caloosahatchee, and destroying our economy and our estuaries. Thank you. The ongoing river pollution and discharges affected our economy. Massively, really. According to the uh, Economic Council, business has been down about 25 percent, which is a lot uh, for tourism and for any businesses that are related to the lagoon. That could be marinas or bait shops or paddleboard companies or charter fishing. Uh, there was a, a movie group that came here. The discharges affected the marine life and their habitats. Again, tremendously. As you know, the lagoon is a system, and uh, it's an ecosystem as well. Yeah. And the, the, everything is based on something else. And so, unfortunately, during five plus months of uh, destructive discharges, 80, 60 to 85 percent of the seagrasses died, wow. according to Florida Oceanographic sure. and the South Florida Water Management District. And 100 percent of the oysters died. You know, oysters, you think they're just oysters, but there are something like 331 little critters, that little worms and little crabs and all sorts of marine life that live on those oysters, and then that's what the fish eat. And of course, the fish hide in the seagrass. And then if you want to get on a, on a larger level than, than that, uh, I sit on the board for Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute in Fort Pierce. What we do today to help clean up our ecosystem? We have to keep doing exactly what we started doing just a few months ago. We have to keep pushing. And that means that we all have to write, call, and plead with our legislative delegation. And the legislative delegation is your House representative yes. for the state of Florida and your Senate representative for us here in the town of Stewart's Point and most of Northern Stewart. That would be Gail Harrell for the House and Senator Joe Negron for the Senate and Marilyn Magar if you live in Southern Stewart. And you know, you can email them, you can write them, you can call them, but you tell them that this is important to you. And if they're representing you, you know, it's their, they're not there to represent themselves. Politicians are there, based on our system of government, to represent their constituents. And so the biggest thing is to keep that pressure on those politicians. And also, you know, I think that people like you should think about running for office when you, you grow up. Because a lot of us think, oh, you know, somebody else will do it. I'm telling you what, somebody else probably won't do it. You have to do it. I have to do it. All of us who care have to do it. We as a community need to speak up and fix and save our waters.